Ever wondered why those cute little seahorses are called hippocampi? It dives right back into ancient mythology where words were as wild as the creatures they described. Hippocampus is a mashup from Greek, hippos meaning horse, and compass, meaning sea monster. Now, if the idea of a horse-sea monster hybrid doesn't get you surfing through Greek myths, what will? Often ridden by Poseidon, the god of the sea, the hippocampus in ancient art is a vision, part horse and part fish, darting through marine scenes with grace that could stun an Olympian. These legendary creatures were the very chariot pullers for gods, kind of like the underwater version of Santa's reindeer, but way cooler. Originally spotted in Greek and Roman art with heavily finned, gloriously waved tails, these magnificent beings pulled Poseidon's seashell chariot. Peek a bit further into ancient Roman and Greek mosaics, and you'll see Hippocampi looking regal, sporting a mane of algae and a divine sparkle. Appearing in poems like the Argonautica, these seahorse-evoked creatures weren't just a splash on the literature scene but were integral to relaying the vibe of adventure across to readers. Crooked horse, a translation you'll run across, might seem quirky until you imagine wrangling one of these twisted sea mavericks on a wet runway. These marine marvels swirl through mythology with a flair only matched by their fluid grace, serving as an insignia for stories where gods mixed with creatures, symbolism mingling with tide and wave. In such lavish imagery, a hippocampus isn't just a creature but a dynamic emblem of Poseidon's potent command overseas. Physical Description and Powers Diving into the physical jazz of the hippocampus, imagine the ultimate merger between equine elegance and fishtailed fanfare. This celestial hybrid sports the head and chest of a horse, proud and lofty, dropping seamlessly into a sprawling, albeit twisty, scaly tail, bottom half all fish, doing the ultimate aquatic swish. These creatures could size up anywhere from perfectly pony to massive proportions. Colors? More like an oceanic fashion show, blue, green, occasionally a daring splash of brown. Finer details varied likely due to the stylistic preferences of regional artists or myth relators. Some hippos came with thin sleek like race cars, others adorned with the decadence of a baroque gown. But what good is form without a bit of supernatural flair? Hippocampi were not just paddling pretties. They came jacked with powers that would make Poseidon's trident proud. Aquakinesis was the top bill, ruling over water with a flick, creating tidal waves with a spin, casually calling up water spouts. Then there's weather control, imagine pitching at sea, hiccuping up a storm. Whether swinging sunny spells for pals or summoning storms upon enemies, their weather ruling razzle had them marked as equine influencers over oceanic climates. Adding to their roll call abilities are super swimming powers amid seascapes, endurance that echoes eternity, and magic immunity. Talk about critters who likely ace their magic marine university with all honors. Intertwined with fantasy and natural phenomena, hippocampi were stitched into ocean spirited stories as touches of wildness to tame seas, treasures to chart waters profound. Bearing holders and wave chauffeurs to the divine, the whimsy of their nature layered rich atop the lore of foamy depths. Cultural impact and artistic depictions. From vibrant mosaics on ancient bathhouses to rich tapestries in medieval castles, the hippocampus has trotted gracefully across centuries. Whether etched onto Etruscan tomb walls, embodying a journey into the afterlife, or stamped onto coins as a mark of trade and territorial echo, its representation carries layers deeper than just aesthetic frolic. During the Renaissance, the hippocampus wasn't just pulling Poseidon's float at parades, it was also seducing sculptors into giving it a marble makeover. Its body froths and contours at play, it's no longer just about under-the-sea agility but about soaring through peaks of mollusk-styled motifs onto canvas and pantheons, presenting the fashionable magnitude of symbolic water elements. Jump into the saddle of heraldry, and the hippocampus hasn't merely basked in its natural aquatic aura but has pranced proudly across diverse coat of arms. This splashy steed was no mere decorative critter, it heralded tales of valiant mariners, embodying the strength and mystic command over the seas. In yacht clubs and naval badges, the hippocampus has been a recurring figure, 
impressing upon onlookers its significant maritime prowess. Spanning the riffle of period waves, the journey posture of Hippocampi across timescape has managed the torrent of shifting styles, from stoic early depictions appearing more zoological to romanticized renditions buzzing charisma with every swoosh of their serpentine tail alongside transitional expressions mixing Norman mandate sternness with Byzantine guilt. Whether through structural renderings in historical facade trims or riding through angry cerulean smoke on tapestries depicting oceanic conquests, the twin charm of charm offensive and defensive sweet renderings inevitably asserts how Hippocampi have sidestepped Eon, consistently auctioning Grecian flavors in silhouette throughout art history, curating not just ocean tides but the flow of cultural record and decorum. These firm hooves entrenched in mythical ecstasy continue its vibrant charge as a sheer force in fantasy and real stitch realism joined at Muse Trot ever budding artistic wellsprings unaged by man's etched archives. Comparative Mythology Traded in the medley of mythology, creatures of the water take on characters as fluid as the elements they embody. Across cultures, similar mythical hybrids gallop, or should we say, swim across our mystical musings. Let's explore how our beloved hippocampus stacks against other legendary linchpins such as the Scottish Kelpie or the astrological starfish known as Capricorn. Consider the Kelpie, Scotland's own contribution to the cultural brigade of bizarre beasts. This shape-shifting spirit of the locks bridges differences with those of a hippocampus as much as similarities. Both creatures express dominion over water, with a formidable affinity for dragging you down to their home turf depths if folklore fees aren't settled. While yes, our Grecian friend pulls gods, the Kelpie harnesses a more sinister vibe, preying on the unsuspecting who dare wade too far from the shore. Yet their form factors diverge like rivers at a delta, the Kelpie won't settle for just being horseish and has multiple mythical resumes, able to adopt human whispers enticing enough to tempt any highlander moseying too close to marshlands. Shifting to celestial seas, let's toggle from legends to constellations with Capricorn. Building off hypothetical biology somewhat similar to the hippocampus, Capricorns cop the aqua caprine cheek, part goat, part fish, all whimsy. Born under signs of ambition, this astro amalgam showcases the firm foothold of the mountain goat married merrily to serpentine Neptune swirls. Here though, symbolism deviates, Capricorn carves out destinies driven by achievement, while Greece's semi-equine mirage mingles more metaphors of passage and protection, encrusting ancient allegories rather than entrepreneurial conquests.